folks, it's Russ with Wrench with Russ. Today we're going to show you how to do the rear brakes on a 2006 Saturn Ion. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to pull the cover off the parking brake, which is inside your car. There's a little bolt inside of there, and you want to loosen that up, and that's going to loosen up your cable for your emergency brake. So once you've got that loose, and you want to come out, you're going to take the drum off the car, and then there's a retainer spring on each side of these shoes. And as you can see what I'm doing now, I'm taking that spring off. Once you take that spring off, both shoes will pop off. And what I like to do is I like to try to keep it all together when I take it off the car at first. That way I can see how it goes back together. Now at the bottom of these shoes, you'll see where the parking brake cable goes in. And the reason why you loosen that bolt up where the parking brake is inside the cab of the car and so you can pull this cable out it'll give you enough cable that's what I'm doing there you just go to yank it pulls the cable out now you can take it off if you don't do that you'll be fighting that spring that holds that on there forever it's almost impossible to put the shoe back on also so now that you just take it off and then we like to just lay them down on the ground in the concrete floor and then we make sure that we mimic what we've got here. We want to piece it back together exactly how the other ones are. So we take some brake cleaner. You want to clean up all your other stuff that you're going to transfer over. Because a lot of this stuff will transfer over to these shoes. And that right there, what I've got in my hand. As you can see, we're going to grease it up. That's the adjuster for these shoes. You want to make sure it goes back in exactly how you took it out. So be very careful when you take it out and make sure you note how you took it out and then you want to adjust it all the way in when you're putting these new pads back on. Now, like I said we grease everything up just to make sure it works properly. And now you got it greased up you want to go putting it back together exactly how it came apart. So the thing that you just see we put on the side there, that's the adjuster lock for that brake system. And then the adjustment bolt goes in between the two of them. piece both the shoes back together and this hardware kit that we use we just get everything from AutoZone but I would recommend getting the hardware kit every time and not reuse any of the old springs or the keepers because they get weak and they're really not very good to reuse so get the hardware kit and then take there's only a spring in this particular one and there's a horseshoe clamp as you can see the one laying there and then I'm sure they make a tool for this, but we use a screwdriver. And then just line it up on the top hole. And you snap the spring in it. And then once you get the spring in there, you're going to put everything back on just like you took it off. So the next thing you want to do is you want to slide these together back over the rear axle over that hub bearing and then the wheel cylinder has two notches in it one on each side and you line that shoe up with those notches you can see the notch right there you pull the shoe out and then it lines up into that notch and if you're good, you can do this by yourself. 
but it really takes a lot of holding on to every different part of this because there's springs everywhere on this system and there's always something that's going to fall off that you got to have so uh, we use two people to put these on it's a lot quicker and then the next thing you want to do is you want to put your emergency brake into the new bracket well it's, that's what i'm doing right now slide the spring down on it that way it locks in Now, once you've got that, you're going to have to realign this. And it's going to take a, a few minutes to realign this. Don't rush this job because there's springs flying everywhere. There's keepers. And you want to make sure you got everything where it's supposed to go. So once you get these shoes in place, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put this retainer clip. It's a horseshoe retainer clip. And this is a whole lot different than some of the other systems as opposed to having springs at the bottom and the top. This only has spring at the top. Hold all that into place and slip this spring on there. Now once you get the spring in place, there's a notch on the bottom of that, right where I'm pushing up, where you can see there's a notch. You got to make sure that that retainer clip goes down in that notch both on each side and right there it has to be in that notch all the way down and once you get that just do some minor adjustments make sure everything looks good on your wheel cylinder make sure you're in the guides at the top make sure your adjustment bar is still in place with your key lock like I'm doing now and once you've determined all that's good the last thing you need to do is slide your drum over. Now this has an adjustment in the back once you get the drum where you want it. There's an adjustment in the back and you just use an adjustment on that wheel and spin it out with a screwdriver and it'll push your shoes back out. You want just a little bit of drag on these where you hear just a little bit of a drag. And that folks is all there is to it. Why pay someone else thousands of dollars when you can do it yourself? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.